What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today's video, we're going to be starting on the bulkheads. Last episode, we had all the main stringers now glassed in on both sides. I want to pin a straight line where my dash is going to be sitting so I can run a bulkhead here to strengthen up the floor as well as where my bilge area is so we can get the layout of where the fuel tank is going to go so then we can do our thought ships on the side. So that's today's episode. Let's get straight into it. So that beautiful laser level has now shot me a line which is directly in line where my dash is going to be. I've also done a line across this section. So this is going to be my bilge area. I do have to uh, fiberglass a piece there for the bilge pump. Quite a bit of room through here. So that basically is going to be where my locker is. Now, just like the two main stringers, we're going to be using the foam uh, for the bulkheads and the Thor ships and then glassed over. Okay, so we have our first bulkhead in, which is at the back here. It fits very nice. You can see I've got about a five mil gap on the top. That is because when I glass it, I want it to be the same height as my main string is here. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, these ones here are actually going to be only 50 mil thick. So that's going to go all the way across and then we'll have them every 500 or so, maybe two in the middle here to our second bulkhead. Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of structure through here uh, because the floor is going to go all the way through. Uh, and then, of course, to the other side there. Now, this floor is going to be completely sealed. No hatches, no uh, live tanks, nothing. 100% sealed uh, with foam on the sides. It's not going to be much. It's literally going to be from here to there just to have a little bit of buoyancy there um, for safety reasons. But the main um, internal part is uh, going to be through the bilge. So just like the main stringers, we're going to be starting off with a couple of layers of 300 chop and then staggering the layers with the 1708. Alrighty, so we're just cutting up the chop and getting it nicely in place so we don't have any creases. Once I get a template for the chop, we're gonna do the same for the 1708. Now to sit the stringers in place, I used a bit of carbog just to make sure that they were nice and square and then went in with the milled fibers and the resin to create ourselves a nice curvature before we start glassing up. So I worked out where I wanted my bulkheads to go and then I've just installed thought ships between the two bulkheads approximately five to six hundred mil apart. Any of you guys want to guess how much vinyl Lester resin I've used on this build so far up to date with this video? Have a guess in the comments below. The Thor ships are glassed in and tabbed up. I put a layer of flow coat there just to seal it off. Yes, it is vinyl ester, but I had the, the material there, so I thought I'd put it on so I know that that area is now finished and ready for foam. Now you can see here, I've done some mini thought ships uh, from the kill just to support that fuel tank floor, just so we make sure that we can distribute the fuel tank weight as much as we can. So the fuel tank floor and the whole floor for the boat itself is going to be out of 20 mil marine ply. So nice and strong with a few layers of chop and 1708 on each side to stiffen it up. 
Now this is a bit of a test fit, it fits really well, uh, touches the kill all the way down which means that we're going to get a good bond with the epoxy uh, just before we can then bog it in and start glassing on top. Alrighty, so this video here has been a bit of a time lapse of what's going on uh, with the boat on the last couple of weeks. A bunch of stuff has happened. Me and Chich have been pretty crook, so the videoing side of things have been on the lower side. Now, today we're going to be installing the uh, floor for the fuel tank. Now you can see here we've done about five layers of glass that uh, is going to be sitting on the bottom. Um, I have finished up the mini Thor ships or the little stringers to help support that floor on the bottom there. We've just mixed um, up epoxy glue so we can sit it in place, make sure it's nice and level and then we can tab it all in on the sides and make sure it's all sound. I am going on holidays as of Friday so um, yeah, you won't get a video for another few weeks, I'm sorry, but uh, you will get a fishing video which is pretty cool. So we've put the epoxy glue now on the kill, uh, basically where this is going to be sitting. We've got the front side ready to go. He's got to put the fiberglass that we've done down the bottom, because that's already sealed. And we do it after on top. Beautiful. Well, this has been a pretty scrambled video, basically a montage of everything we've done for the last two and a half weeks. Uh, we've got a lot done, uh, just in very um, staggered stages. So me and Chich, we have been crook. Basically, it's been hard to record and to do the work at the same time. So I thought I'd just do a bit of a montage this episode of everything that we've done. Uh, this will probably be the last video again for the next couple of weeks because I am going on another fishing trip in the next couple of days. Hopefully I'm feeling better. But uh, that is the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys stick around. I'll see you in the next one.